Hey guys, Dr. Z here, specialist in functional medicine, showing you how to rebuild your body and your mind. The stress reaction and the release of stress hormones drive diseases, including heart disease, autoimmune diseases, and leaky gut. Stress hormones can also cause dysfunction of the thyroid and hypothyroid symptoms. In this video, I'll explain three mechanisms of how this happens. Chronic and unmanaged stress sets off toxic chemical reactions in the body, which can ignite and promote the formation of disease. When the stress reaction in the body is elevated for prolonged periods of time, it can suppress the immune system, cause disease, and disrupt thyroid function. Let me explain how this happens. The thyroid gland plays a major role in energy production and metabolism. The brain activates the thyroid through thyroid stimulating hormone. The thyroid gland then produces T3 and T4 for increased metabolism. Now the thyroid produces three major hormones, T3, T4, and calcitonin. T3 and T4 have multiple effects in the body which include regulating skin and hair health. It helps regulate gut motility. It helps regulate menstruation. It helps regulate brain development. It maintains mood through serotonin regulation. It helps heart contractility and heart rate. It also is responsible for energy expenditure and fat burning. Symptoms of hypothyroidism include brain fog, thinning eyebrows, slow heartbeat, poor appetite, weight gain, poor memory, and intolerance to cold. When T3 and T4 are low or they don't work, we develop feelings of of being tired and fatigued, thinning hair and hair loss. We develop a puffy face, dry and coarse skin. We get constipated. There's infertility complaints. There's heavy menstruation with low T3 and T4, and of course, cold hands and feet. Which brings us into the topic of stress. What is stress? Stress is a perception of a momentary threat, which creates an adaptive response in the body to ensure survival. The stress reaction is the body's way of preparing itself for fight or flight. However, stress becomes a health hazard only when stressors are constant and the physical stress response doesn't stop. Now here's how it works. Under times of stress, the brain activates the adrenal glands to secrete cortisol and adrenaline. Cortisol has multiple functions in the body. For one, it helps to increase blood sugar while under times of stress. Cortisol aids in the breakdown of fat and carbs to provide energy, and cortisol acts as a major anti-inflammatory hormone. Cortisol and the other stress hormones activate white blood cells to create inflammatory compounds called cytokines. Cytokines are linked to inflammation and disease. Now there's three ways stress affects thyroid hormone function and the thyroid. Number one, under times of stress, the brain will activate the adrenal glands to secrete cortisol. Cortisol will reduce the production of TSH and the production of T4 and T3. Cortisol will also block the conversion of T4 to T3, creating hypothyroid symptoms on a cellular level. Number two, the stress hormones cortisol, adrenaline, and norepinephrine activate white blood cells to create inflammatory chemical messengers, cytokines, these cytokines will decrease the production of TSH and prevent the conversion of T4 to T3. Number three, nutrient deficiencies are caused by cortisol and stress. Cortisol will block the mineral absorption of iodine, zinc, and selenium. The thyroid needs iodine in order to create T4 and T3. Now T4 is converted into T3 through specific enzymes. That, those enzymes are zinc and selenium dependent. Once T3 is converted from T4, it then acts upon cells and tissues to increase cell function and metabolism. And last, stress causes thyroid hormone resistance, and this is what that means. Cortisol will activate these white blood cells that then secrete cytokines. Specifically, IL-6 will block the ability for T3 to interact with receptors on cells and tissues. 
By doing so, it will cause hypothyroid symptoms and dysfunction. The thyroid hormones T4 and T3 have many effects on the body. Under times of stress, the body releases the stress hormone cortisol. Cortisol causes inflammation by the creation of these inflammatory cytokines. Inflammation reduces the amount of T4 and T3 made. It also reduces the conversion of T4 to T3 and it prevents T3 from engaging with cells and tissues to increase energy and metabolism. Stress and cortisol increase inflammation and disrupt thyroid hormone function. High cortisol is caused by emotional stressors, nutrient deficiencies, and not eating enough calories to match your metabolism. If you take thyroid medications and they haven't resolved your symptoms, or you have hypothyroid symptoms, although your blood work says your thyroid is fine, there's a good chance your symptoms are caused by elevated stress hormones. To rebuild your thyroid and thyroid hormone function, Get your cortisol levels measured and work with a specialist in functional medicine to help you navigate through these hormone issues to get them resolved. I hope this helps to rebuild your body and your mind. We'll see you next time.